Letting go when it's time can be one of the biggest challenges of parenting, but it's also kind of inevitable that young adults will want to make their own decisions. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has some tips on how to cope when your teen or 20 something wants more space. It's natural as young people go into young adulthood that they pull away from their parents and want to establish their independence. But that doesn't make that any easier for parents to go through this phase. So Natalie Gray has some advice on how parents can rethink their roles. Stepping back as your kid is fast becoming an adult can be liberating but also tricky because licensed professional counselor Natalie Gray says it's hard to let go of calling the shots. A lot of the times the challenges that I see is that the parent doesn't know how to transition out of being the one that's telling them what to do, how to do it, into being what I call more of a consultant and standing in the role of the consultant, which is very different for parents. Because early on, Gray says letting kids make their own mistakes could sometimes be dangerous. So we're always concerned about them getting hurt or something happening. Letting go of that mindset and that idea that even if they choose something you don't agree with, it doesn't mean danger. It doesn't mean threat. It might mean that they might have some challenges or consequences, but they're not life threatening. So sometimes the best thing a parent can do, she says, is to take a step back. To allow them to kind of come up with their own decision, but pull back and see, do you need help? Do you need assistance? Do you need support? Versus trying to just step on in there because you want to give them the space to make the decisions and to make the mistakes. And Grace says there will be some friction about their dating, school, and career choices, which may not align with your plans. But as you get to that point in parenting, it's really about letting go and allowing them to live a life that they choose with the understanding that there are consequences with that. And they may have to go through those consequences. And she encourages her young adult patients to be clear with their parents about what they need. Do you need them to listen? Do you need advice? Or sometimes we just need them to agree. Like, I just need someone to agree with me. And so that's so helpful as the parent to listen into some of those key words where they may say, I need need your advice. What do you think? They're asking for it. And you don't always have to go to fix it mode. Sometimes it is listening. And again, Gray saying that you want to transition from telling your child, your young adult child what to do to maybe allowing them to talk through their options. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.